what a treat we have today. Talking about Manitoba pork, look at this. This is your pork loin. A whole lot right here. It is your one stop shop. So many of the things that you find in the grilling guide, you can prepare right from here. And you can buy these whole. I didn't know this, I just learned this today. They 10 to 12 pounds. Uh, you can ask your local butcher or grocer. We got this one here from National Meat Sales on Debates. But you can do all kinds of things right here with your pork loin. You can get yourself a roast. You can also uh, cut it into chops, the boneless loin chops. And you can also uh, cube strips, cut it up any way you like for the kebabs, for the satays, or uh, for stir fries. So it's all one-stop shopping right here. It's really your most economical way to get the most bang for your buck because you're gonna be able to do all kinds of great stuff. The tenderloin is actually right in here. So it's all self-contained uh, and you can, you can pick it up, as I said, at your local butcher, your grocer, just ask around. And it is the one-stop shop, the most bang for your buck, the pork loin. We're gonna cut it up and show you all the different things that you can do. So we're gonna begin cutting up the pork loin. It's really great both to save some money and for a DIY, a do-it-yourselfer, this is easy to do. Now, as I said, it's about 10 pounds or so. So if you're gonna do the roast, that's what we're gonna start with. You're looking at a three or four pound roast. So you wanna do you know, 30, 40% of what you got here. So maybe we'll take it to here. This actually is a perfect cut that you can do yourself if you want to make the Moroccan pork roast, which you can find in the grilling guide. So this is what you wanna be doing. Uh, just Make a nice clean cut and you got yourself your roast and still so much more pork to work with. So now continuing to work with the pork loin, you've got your roast over here. We're going to go to the most popular cut, which is the pork chop. Now the cool thing is when you're working with your very own pork loin is that you can determine just how thick or thin you want your pork chop to be. So it's, it's up to you. It's custom. That's the way you want to do it. Have it exactly the way you want it. Why shouldn't you? Especially when not only is it the most economical way to go, it's actually kind of fun. So you head on over to your pork loin and you decide exactly how thick you want that pork chop to be. Easy to cut. So we're custom cutting the pork chops and an uh, inch, inch and a half is, is a sort of a good guideline. She really can do what you like, getting ready to go on the grill. Don't forget too, it's up to you if you want to trim any of the excess, the marbling or the fat of there off. Or if you want to enter flavor country, that's your decision. Such an easy cut. So nice to have control over exactly how you want to cut up your pork loin, make it just the way you want to make it. So much you can do with this pork loin. Alrighty, here's what we're going to do now. You want them for kebabs, you want it for satays, stir fries. Let's start with some cubes. And uh, this is the great part about having your very own pork loin is that you can decide exactly, not only decide the size you're looking for, but it's up to you to keep everything uniform. Now when you're doing the cubes or the strips, you're gonna wanna have to trim just to keep it as lean as possible, which is so easy to do. And then you're just slice it on up and keep it uniform. So get rid of that there, that's done. And just one cut right down the middle. And just cube it uniform pieces, as big or as small as you want them, the do-it-yourselfer. And it's actually really kind of fun. Makes anyone feel like a gourmet chef. That easy to do. So there's your cubes for kebabs. If you want strips, that's when you're gonna to wanna to go a little bit thinner in your cut. Just go straight down. And again, for the strips, you wanna you want to do a little bit of trimming this time around, just like you did for the cubes which is so easy to do. Takes no time at all. And then for the strips, it's ready to go. It's so easy to work with, so versatile, and get it done so very, very quickly. Look at those strips. So you got your cubes, you got your chops, you got your roast. You can check out all the recipes to make your best use of all of it at manitobapork.com.